Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Hitman here. I hope you guys are having a good day and more importantly, I hope you guys are prepared. Now, with that being said, we have the new Super Battle Royale stages announced for Global. They are supposedly dropping Thursday night. I'm in Eastern Standard Time. I didn't convert the time. I barely looked at it. Just know they're coming Thursday or it might technically be Friday that morning or middle of the night, whatever you want to call it. Now, there are 10 new stages. Obviously, there's always 10. These 10 aren't exactly a joke. A lot of these leads aren't built for Super Battle Road, so you got to be careful with that. But I'll explain what I mean by that as we go through each stage. Now, for the first stage, we have Reps of Universe 7. We have Goku and Frieza, and then Kyle can Goku as your leads. What I, this is what I mean. They're not built for Super Battle Road. They don't tank extremely well, so you got to be careful. However, Goku and Frieza will be one-shotting most of the, like, the enemies they face, at least the AGL ones. So, I guess that's a positive right there, but... Honestly, you got to be careful. You got to use your items. You got to make sure you do all that. I'll probably try to upload my best team suggestions tomorrow, maybe the day after, because I know I have a video planned for tomorrow. But for level for level 32, the second stage that's dropping with this set, you have the Wicked Bloodline category. I am going to do a strategy where I use a STR Metal Cooler friend. Hopefully, he has a high link level, and hopefully, he has dupes. Then I'm going to bring in my AGL Metal Cooler as a lead on my side because he is the best leader skill for this team. 170 across the board. But the reason I'm bringing my other Metal Cooler is because I want two coolers. I do not want, or I want two Metal Coolers. I do not two, want two AGL coolers on my team. I don't like having both of them tank that often. They're going to take a lot of damage. Now on to the next stage, Time Travelers. They did not update it. Not that it matters to Global, but they did not update it to where Bojack should be here. Unless I'm nuts. I am a little off my rocker sometimes, but unless I'm nuts, Bojack should be the other leader for the Time Travelers category. I think he, it's Time Travelers and Space Travelers. Goku Black is just, he's just not good enough for stuff like this. I hate Goku Black. I hate Goku Black a lot. But the, it makes me mad because usually I have a, a backup setup so where I can say, oh, I forget Goku Black. I can bring this unit or this unit. My backup is Trunks and Mai. I hate Trunks and Mai. There's still SA1 in my box. I hate Trunks and Mai that much. So I guess I'm stuck. I'll probably bring them. I prefer them over Goku Black, even though I hate them more. Now for the next stage, Universe 6, I have Hit. You guys know Hit has no defense whatsoever. I do not have STR Kefla. So I'm kind of stuck at a wall there. AGL Khalifa, Physical KO, and I guess you could bring Champa, Vados. I'm, I might be missing uh, AGL, LR. Yeah, on Khalifa, even though I don't have them. You bring units like that, should be able to carry you through the stage. Now, for the next stage, Movie Heroes, they did not update it to where LR Tech Gohan is here. Not that I blame them. Thank you to the wiki. I'm not trying to fault them. I'm just saying. LR Tech Gohan is also another um, unit you can bring if you want. But he is only 130%. So, Movie Heroes is probably going to be one of the tougher stages on here. So, Gogeta, he's good, but... Man, when he's not tanking, or when he's not dodging, he's going to be taking a lot of damage. So you got to be careful with that. Or, or maybe, I mean, this is going to limit your options a lot. But for movie heroes, you could bring a Gohan and Goten. You could have run an all Goku's family or siblings bond team, which actually wouldn't be the worst idea. I might see if I can do that myself. You can bring them if you want. But I have no problem bringing Gogeta, by the way. Not like I do with this scrub right here. Or this scrub for that matter. But yeah, you could do that if you want. If you don't have Gogeta or whatever your your reasoning may be. Now for the Goku's family stage, we have Gohan and Goten. And then we have Goku himself. Straightforward. Bring your best units. Try to, try to run through it. Highest attack, highest defense you can get. Shouldn't be too difficult. Should be the most basic stage. Along with the Vegeta's family stage. It's so annoying. We still don't have a second leader skill for this category. It's the most frustrating thing. I don't. I've waited so long. I'm like, okay, if you asked me seven, eight months ago, I would have said we had a leader skill for them besides Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta like two or three months ago by now. It is what it is, man. I guess we're just running in circles here, waiting, twiddling our thumbs, waiting for him to get here. Now, for the youth category stage, I don't have Gotenks. I do have Goku. I think Goku's underrated. However, him and Super Battle Road, his defense himself, just like Kaioken Goku and uh, AGL Metal Cooler, not that he needs to get hit, but it does take multiple turns for him to get all of it. So you need to be aware of that. His active skill, however, it should be able to at least take like two-thirds of the enemy's health off when you get it right. He has a chance to stun. He's going to be giving himself key. 
he's not gonna link the best though, however. I do need to mention that. Man, for the youth team, that's gonna be kind of finicky, but it should be the easiest stage here. They're the weakest category by far, actually. Yeah, it's, it's not even close. So you should be able to do that if you want. Um, Just, you know, finesse the stage. For the second to last category stage we're fighting, STR Nemec Goku. Jeez, this guy has fallen from grace hard. It's not even, I can't even be nice about it. However, I have no problem bringing him as much as I do the other units, but I'm probably gonna try to bring a Spear Bomb Absorb Goku if I can, if I feel like the stage is easy enough. I usually die my first couple times. Come on, everybody does. If you're not Truth, or you're not Toon Rami or anybody who's super, trying super hard and you got your, you know, your whale box, respect to them, you're probably not gonna beat it on your first try. And either way, I experiment with these stages. I feel like that's part of the fun of Super Battle Road. So I'm going to bring, like I said, AGL, LR, Goku. I'm going to try to run through that stage that way. Nuke every opponent I can. He's going to be low on attack, defense, ceiling. You guys know how he is. Uh, I guess that's basically all I have to say for that stage. Final trump card. Now these two, we know what they are. We know what they are. But you need to float them. If they are not Super Saiyan Blue yet, please float them. It will get you killed most of the time. Their defense isn't good enough and their attack isn't worth it. So... Float them whenever you get the chance. Try to get them to get that chance to dodge. And then hopefully they'll come back stronger as their blues. And then you'll really be rocking people. Now, for the LR they bring. I don't love this LR. However, he decent. Or they are decent. Goku and Gohan Kid. Only unit in the Nick game with that name. Goku's family. 4 key, 120% to stats. 12 key. Colossal damage, seal super attack, 18 key, mega colossal, and they raise defense infinitely. So they're good for long events. Passive skill. Friendly father and son, defense 59%, attack 59% when performing a super, and they get an additional attack 58% if it's an ultra super. They get an additional 5 key and 8% at the end of the turn if they are the third attacker in the turn. So basically, you want to float them all the time and have them gradually raise their defense. Hmm. I guess besides that, you just you really just want them to seal, to be honest. It would probably be worth it more if you sealed, because it would help everybody out in Super Battle Road. But I guess it, at the end of the day, this is the main goal. Besides, I'm not here for them. Straight up, I'm not here for them. I'm here for these. I've been waiting forever. First of all, the stones, obviously. But those uh, those rewards, the, the item you get that you can take to Baba Shop, I've been waiting forever for those to come back. I need some Kai's and I need some Zenny. I'm I'm lazy. I don't like farming up Hercules statues. It's an annoying process. So the categories are their link set. On the family Z Fighter, Saiyan Warrior, Ray Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, and Legendary Power. Categories, Joint Forces, Goku's Family, and Kamehameha. Thank goodness they're on Kamehameha, because it would have been a wrap. They would have only had two categories. Three is still not enough, but better than two, obviously. Fuck key multiplier 140%, and you know how LRs are too. 24 key is on 200%. Their stats. I hate seeing LRs that don't crack 20,000 on either HP or attack. And then their defense is still like ba like barely 12,000. So that's annoying in and of itself. Let me know what you guys think though. Do you guys like that unit? Are you guys hyped for these new Super Battle Roads? I think Super Battle Road is the best content in the game. If you disagree, comment below. Like and sub if you enjoyed. I'm probably going to have a video tomorrow or the day after for my tactics and my best teams for that situation based off of my box or I guess for what a lot of people may or may not have. Hitman's out.